I do. Morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the the floof the are. This is an impromptu up the ticks. Since Warriors didn't pull it out of the bag last night, no grand final. So less said about less, less said about that debacle last night. Z better. Well, on we go. Do watching Latics versus Reading. I haven't looked at the tables, so don't ask me about that. To be honest, I just want an entertaining game. A draw or a win will be good, obviously. Duh! Getting a win would be really bloody good. But hey, I don't really mind if we get a draw as long as we get some points on the board and we just keep the momentum going. I'm not going to buy into all of that. Oh no, but we, you know. We could be a Prem team. I don't care if we're a, we're a Prem team or we're a Championship team. Just as a frigging team. That's my view. I don't really care on that. But I will see you guys inside. Since I'm not really bothered right now. Actually, I might just continue doing this ramble while I'm walking. But just because there's been some delays in games and because of the other stuff that's been going on now last weekend. Yes, we did have one missing game. And there is also that missing game against Coventry, which that will be uh, worked out. To be honest, I prefer these three o'clock kickoffs over the early kickoffs. Same in the rugby. I would rather it actually be early, especially for rugby. But hey ho, when you share a ground with two teams and you come support both teams, there is going to be a bit of a game lock. And yeah, I do understand that some people on the rugby side are going, no, no, but why don't you do vlogs for us? Eight o'clock kickoffs, mate. Eight o'clock kickoffs aren't, aren't good for me anymore, especially when I'm over the other side of town. It takes me nearly an hour to get home. You know, I've got to record you. I've got to record for you, and edit this shit and stick it up. So some of you were so lucky to see some of the ones that I've done before. Yeah, right. I was pretty much round the corner from here, if it were. But still, come on. We don't have a lot of money, and you don't drive, and you like it. And you like a few babs. Do you really think I'm going to have the effort to do that? Especially when you haven't got the money. So, um, yeah, there is that. Plus, there is other reasons beyond it as well. Like, you know, I do have to work out how many days I can do stuff, how much pain I can bank before I have to cry no more, you know? Because it does freaking hurt. It does hurt. So, just be warned. Anyway, I will see you guys inside. I'm not going to make a score prediction. Or, I will make a score prediction, but I'm not going to stick to that. Perhaps. I wouldn't mind, let's say, a one all draw or a one nil. To be honest, I know some people are probably going to be saying, oh, why don't you do a big and why don't you just say, oh, well, why don't you just say, ooh, let's smash him. No. A smash him is fun once in a while. But, you know. I'd rather, I'd rather have an entertaining game, a close score, and just keep it at that. Rather than having a 3, 4, 5 absolute blow away demolition job. Like what happened against Hull a few years ago. That ain't my style. But I will see the inside. Right, just a quick up. Asgard starts, ready in a 4. Wigan are 11th in the table as it stands. Swansea, I believe, have just tonked Paul 3-0. Everyone's applauding play the pit. It looks like the Reading lads are having a bit of a crossbar challenge. So they're having a bit of fun with it. I know it's a long way from Reading, so I'm not exactly going to complain about the away turn. And the home turn out is filling out. It's probably going to be about 11, 12, maybe 13k in here. Seems about average whilst I'm here. So, not too bad. I ain't mentioned anything about the rugby. Which, uh, that can, you know, can get in the bin after last night. But as long as we get an entertaining game, it's not too bad. We did have a quick word with a Reading supporter outside. He's a little bit apprehensive. He's thinking probably it could go draw, but then again you never know it could go either way. It could be a quick could be a quick one nil, 
or it could be quite an entertaining run. You never know, you know, really. But we will see. Uh, and as I have said on many other things, I can't do much of the footage on the field due to copyright laws and restrictions. If there is anything that I can do, I'll try and see if I can get it on the screen. And I'll try to keep you all in touch. But otherwise, if it is uneventful, I will see you at the half. If not, I will see you when the highlights roll up. Queen Elizabeth II at the age of 96. Over a 70 year reign, Her Majesty served the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth with distinction. The thoughts of everybody in that room are pathetic are with the royal family at this sad time. Today we pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II and ask she to join us in observing a minute's silence in her memory, followed by the national anthem, starting on the referee's whistle. The half. Had a few chances to take it but just didn't. To be honest, Reading looked more like they were in the on top for a little while, but they weren't they were basically limited to a couple of couple of chances. This chance came from a <coughs> sneaky little cross which was just headed over and it just snuck wide from Wigan. Asgard almost had one but it just drifted a little bit too. Well, so he switched on to his left foot rather than switching to his right. Well, rather than stay on his right, sorry. He could have done it, but, you know, this being controlled at the back and all of this tiki-taki sort of play from the back isn't quite working. To some, it's kind of admitting that we're not strong enough against some of those teams. We just need to just F it and just chuck it up in front, you know, and go for it and see what happens. But, you know, we just don't seem to have the impetus sometimes to want it which some of them especially when you've got the chance of there's a nice big gap and players are screaming for it and they're just passing it away nah that ain't working lads. that ain't working try and keep it on the deck and stop, stop trying to hoof it around stop trying to be cute with it as well as some of your passes because some of them just ain't quite working got lucky because it did look more like 
at one point there was a decent shot from a ready player, I don't know which, can't really remember which one, but he's there. Andy Carroll is in their squad but isn't on the pitch yet, but he is one of the main subs, which if he comes on looking from the angle I, I'm at, um, he could cause us some problems. It's just, it's just not quite fitting together yet. Sometimes they have switched off at the back and not quite been there. Um, obviously, as you can tell, my voice has gone. But they just need to just wake up a little bit and switch on and be a bit more sharp and the time is right. But hey, I have a good view from where I'm at, but still, obviously, as you can tell, nothing's really occurred. I've got a couple of corners, a couple of free kicks, a little bit of gamesmanship from both sides. Well, you're going to get that, but I think for Wigan, they just need to switch on a bit more and, be, and just be a bit more direct and try to hustle with it. You know, whenever they're playing, whenever Reading are at the back, hustle on a bit, push on a bit, you know, give them a little bit of a, a trial, see if there's anything that you can do, even if it just means holding the play up for one or two and then just hoofing it across and try again. This playing from the back lack, it just looks a little bit sus at times and it could get us into a lot of trouble here. But hey, we're hoping on anyway. I haven't looked at any of the scores because I can't get any of the scores because obviously my phone decided it just so shit itself. That's all I can do at the moment is with a camera. Because for some weird reason I can't quite get the GPS to it. I can't even get it half the time, I can't get the internet in here. But Hey, that's what happens when you're in places that you've got a lot of metal work in it. But hey, we will see what the second half brings. Hopefully, we'll have a little more luck and we'll actually have a goal for you. Reading. A free kick that really shouldn't have been a free kick. One of their lads goes down, slides along, and it ends up being a handball to one of our players because the ball's bounced off the Reading player's leg. And he's bounced up into one of our legs and uh, people are running alongside him. Well, there you go. I'm going to have to say that was a good free kick, but... Uh, Shimmer won't be able to shit. Uh, missed the chance to show you, but whatever. But whatever. Well, hey-ho! I just need to just keep on pushing now. Asgard's off, Broadhead's on, White's on, can't remember who White is on to the place, but this, they just need to wake up, they needed to wake up for a while, that should be it, but this being cute and ticky tacky stuff is not working for us, we ain't the ticky tacky team, we just go and just push and shove and get it in, but we just don't look up to it again, you never know, but not right now. Not exactly the result that anyone wants really, but hey uh, oh, Absolutely naff all you can do about that one. Both teams, to be honest, were about as terrible as each other. They got lucky with that, that free kick. It was a good free kick, just in the way that they had to have it though. But, you know, to be honest, we didn't save ourselves at all. Too much ticky tacky, too much trying to be cute with it, too much not even being direct, losing the ball far too easy, not calling for it, not putting it around. There's plenty of chances where it could have, where they easily could pick the ball up and easily shifted it from wing to wing back into the box and painting as you go oh no absolutely no so whatever so yeah they kind of didn't help themselves there but whatever and there was a few bits where it was getting a little bit fractious especially with um, Paul Ince just patting the ball away a few times, a few yellow cards that were going in, a few tackles that could have gone differently. Uh, a few times where the ref was looking, especially with the 
view of the uh, hogging and all of that. Well, there was a couple of tackles going in the red inside, which, to be honest, would have looked or eat in rugby because there would have been a nice little off, you know, push him to the side, get him into touch sort of thing. No, none of them were givens. You know, a, few, a lot of time wasted. A lot of time wasted. But hey-ho, that's the game. Onwards and upwards. The way that we were passing you know, out of the back sometimes was more like we were two or three up. And we weren't. And Reading, for their goal, just outpaced us for quite a few of it. But whatever. Nothing that we can do. On to the next game. I'm not sure we're not going to be doing another one of these vlogs. Because... I need the moolah. There's a few other things coming up, especially um, some once a month micro vlogs from around Sheffield from November. So I will see you later.